Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Derek Neal from Capcom. And I'm Andrew Schnorr. And uh, today we're here to talk about Shinko, yet another character from the diverse lineup of ghouls and monsters and heroes that populate the Darkstalkers Resurrection character cast. So uh, Shinko's got a lot of really unique things. She has an air dash, which uh, not a lot of the other characters have, and it causes her to go straight forward like this uh, in the air as if she's running on literally nothing. Uh, on the ground, her dash is actually a teleport. It's really good for crossing people up and getting close and doing surprising things. As far as her move goes, she has this ability to throw out random projectiles. The different buttons change the angle that they go at. And uh, she actually has an unblockable with this, so if uh, Andrew tries to crouch block, for example, you can uh, hit them with the overhead and it's high, and if you're hitting them with a low attack at the same time, they're not going to be able to block. So uh, kind of a useful attack was you just showed there is a projectile reflector. So bounces me. projectiles back at people. And then uh, the other big move that's worth mentioning is this one, which uh, the Anki Ho, which causes her to swing back and forth. This is useful because pressing kick will actually cancel it in the middle of the move, which lets you do some crazy cross-up stuff. So uh, here, check this out real quick. Uh, so you can attack high, you can attack low, you can also go through them and then cancel on the other side of them all of a sudden and attack from behind. So it's a, a pretty useful move that has a lot of gameplay ramifications for her. As far as story goes, she's got this weird piece of paper that's stuck to her forehead. What's about that, Andrew? Uh, that's actually her sister. That's her sister? Yeah, so uh, Shinko's story, or as she's known in Japan, uh, Lele, she was actually just a normal girl uh, from a spiritualist family in China and back in the 1700s. And then one day, her... Uh, her village was attacked by a bunch of dark stalkers, and her mother basically gave up her own soul in order to save her two daughters, Shinko and Mei Ling. Uh, and they uh, basically they were alive, but they wanted to save their mother's soul from the darkness, so they did this forbidden technique, uh, whose name I can't pronounce. Um, but it turned uh, Shinko into a Zhang Qi, or a Chinese vampire, and it turned her sister into that uh, a protective ward, which she wears in order to. Uh, prevent herself from kind of going crazy. Cool. So they were originally twins, right? They were, yes. Not that they look anything alike now. No. All no right, similarities. Well, that's really interesting. Thank you very much for the update. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about our backstory. And uh, we hope you check out the game when it comes out. Thanks very much, guys.